click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, we are going to do a numerical based on diffraction grating and this is going to tell us something about the dispersive power of a grating. Here is the problem. The angular separation of two sodium lines of average wavelength 5893 angstroms in the second order spectrum of a transmission grating with 5000 lines per centimeter is 0 0.04 degrees. Find the difference in wavelength of the two yellow lines. So the equation for the dispersive power of a grating is d theta upon d lambda is equal to m which is nothing but the order upon a plus b into cos of theta. So this is the particular expression for the, the diffraction. So your d theta is actually equal to 0 0.04 degrees which is in terms of, so this is degrees, we know that 180 degrees is equal to pi radians and therefore 0 0.04 degrees will be equal to so many radians and that works out to 0 0.04 into pi divided by 180. Hence your d theta in terms of radians is coming out to 0 0.04 into pi divided by 180. So this is going to be, this entire value is going to be in radians. So now we know the d theta in this expression. We do not know what is delta lambda because that's exactly what we want to find out. We know the order, there is nothing but 2 and we know a plus b. We know a plus b because 1 upon a plus b is going to be equal to 5000. So the data that is available with us is this. Your d theta is equal to 0 0.04 into pi divided by 180 so many radians d lambda we do not know so this is 1 upon a plus b is equal to 5000 lines per centimeter with this data now let us rewrite this expression for the dispersive power of a grating which is d theta upon d lambda is equal to m upon a plus b into cos of theta we assume that theta is equal to 0, therefore cos theta will actually be equal to 1. And hence your d lambda will be equal to and this will be the expression for your d lambda. We substitute the respective values over here. See the substitution for a plus b since 1 upon a plus b is 5000 lines per centimeter we are writing this is 1 upon 5000. We are taking theta is equal to 0 therefore it is cos of 0 and your d theta is equal to 0.04 into pi upon 180 entire thing divided by 2 which is nothing but the order and your d lambda is equal to 6.98 into 10 raised to minus 8 so many centimeters. So that will be approximately equal to 7 angstroms. So your d lambda approximately turns out to be 7 angstroms. Sincere thanks students for watching this particular video. Stay tuned to Ikeda and do subscribe to our channel Ikeda. Thanks a lot.